Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So most global equity markets are still struggling this morning uh, right across the bat with the US 30 having come off quite hard there on Friday and has had a, just a tiny little bounce first thing this morning but 17034 is the next potential support level. Almost a death cross coming on the moving averages. While the other technicals are relatively neutral, the MACD is just crossing the zero line right now, which is usually a bit of a negative signal. If we have a look at the UK 100, you can just see it's moving in this kind of wave formation. We seem to be kind of halfway through our next potential move, but 57.70 is the next potential support level. You might have short-term potential support around about uh, 58.67 and we're on the wrong side of potential support right now at 60.73. Though we are at the top end of our trading range, that's not really saying much right now. Uh, I'll be on the intraday charts, it is just having a little short-term spike up there, um, but the impact on the commodity markets is having a pronounced impact on the UK 100. So then looking at Japan 225, you can see this horrible candle that we had there in Japan 225, where initially um, after the, uh, the Bank of Japan looked to expand, uh, their QE by buying a lot more localized ETFs with a short-term spike up, but then almost within five minutes got pushed right back down again. And you can see that negativity has, fall has followed through to today where we've got a quite a, a nasty looking uh, doji formation. It looks to be a short-term bounce of 18,648. The next potential support would be 18,306. Other technicals still relatively neutral. So looking then at dollar yen, the dollar uh, is not really doing a huge amount, but um, you can see the Japanese yen has, uh, has has wrestled control from the US dollar, bringing this right back down again. Very similar pattern to what we was posted on the Japan 225. We are in the middle of two ranges right now, 120 spot 55 and 121 spot 87. Trading below both moving averages, MAC D's crossing the zero line, other technicals are relatively neutral. So then moving on to uh, West Texas crude, uh, edging ever so slightly lower. On the intraday charts, we're at the bottom end of its scale, at $34.30, one of its lowest uh, marks in about 11 years, I think, now we're, we're, we're just about to hit. The longer term potential support is at $27, with $35.30 being potential resistance. So then moving on to gold, gold's benefiting a little bit from the safe haven buying aspect, but uh, 1,072 remains to be potential resistance. Longer term potential support, 1,031. Other technicals completely neutral, um, though you, you are in a longer term negative downtrend here. You can just obviously get a bit of an idea from here. It looks to be that we've got another little downtrend right here. In fact, I could probably clean up some of these, some of these levels right now because we're a little bit away from right now. Um, I think you could probably get rid of this. And if we just go to my drawing tools for a second, uh, arguably you could be looking at another trend line right here could be even a descending triangle formation. If you were to cap the bottom of these two uh, candles right here, as a matter of fact, that's exactly what we're gonna do, just so we can see if, if that's gonna come out. Could be a descending triangle formation, usually a continuation pattern. Um, and I'm just gonna redraw that to there, because it might come back. Okay, that gives you a bit of an idea of, um, of where we are with gold. If we finish up now with Euro dollar and GBP USD, so Euro dollar has a modest bounce of one spot at 0819. It's done it twice now. There on Friday, well, sorry, it, it stopped on Thursday. It bounced on Friday and uh, it's just hovering around about that same level. Close at the top end of its range on Friday. Uh, it's still hanging about there just now. Um, but that will give you a bit of an idea of where we are. We're so close to that potential support at one spot at 0819. Technicals, uh, we've almost got a um, sell signal on the slow stochastic. Arguably, we did get a sell signal on the slow stochastic. That was on Thursday. Uh, it's not obviously fall through this morning. Energy charts, your dollar is trading at the top end of its range. We are trading in between both moving averages. So you could get a bit of a short term cap with that 55 period SMA. So then looking at GBP USD, we bounced off one spot of uh, 48.60. We bounced up there on Thursday, didn't do a lot on Friday, probably not gonna do a lot today. Still in a longer term downtrend right now and the other technicals are relatively neutral. So economic data wise, uh, you've got uh, consumer confidence from the Eurozone uh, at 3 p.m. UK time. Uh, and then if we go on to Tuesday, so there's actually still some data coming out even though you're getting quite close to Christmas. You have US GDP and existing home sales. And then Wednesday, you've got UK GDP, US durable goods, personal income from the US, University of Michigan sentiment index, new home sales, and of course, crude oil inventories. And probably around about the 24th, I'm guessing a lot of our traders will be taking a little bit of a break and you'll see slightly less 
uh, happening in the financial markets. Thinner volumes, more exacerbated moves are things to watch out for. So keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.